What up, what up, what up, what up? It's me, L Teddy 27. It's good as night, dude. Right about the hood. Oh, dear God. I'm already eating the drink. Look at damn mess. Just a damn mess. Please don't. No. And yes, me, though. No. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? What's good, people? What's up? It's me, I'm back. L Teddy 27, back here for another review. This is going to be our review, ladies and gentlemen, for Put a Ring on It. This is season one. This is episode three. It is entitled Letting Go. So, mm, it was a lot. Okay, so let's get right down to it as I open my snack. What am I snacking on? Oh, listen. Perky jerky. And it's turkey jerky. It's so good. Listen, even if you don't like beef jerky, because you maybe you think beef jerky is too tough or whatever. The turkey jerky, like this one, is like so soft. So soft. So manageable. You don't feel like you're going to chip a tooth eating it. It's so good. Anyway, that's what we eat eating today. Mm. It's flavored perfectly. Mm. Let me put that down. So, mm. we start off being introduced to Tamika and Vince. That's the new couple that took over for Mimi and um, Ulysses. They've been together two and a half years. Tamika ain't ready to get married because she got trust issues with him. So apparently, when they first got together, he was with some girl at the time. And the girl told her, DM'd her and said, oh, you know, he already got a girlfriend. He, and she was like, well, we just got together too. I don't know. And so the girl was sending her DMs about how he was in a whole relationship with her. So Tamika was like, and even though Tamika ended up getting with him or he ended up staying with her after it was all said and done, she still kind of had stress issues because, and we find out a little later why these trust issues are still lingering on, which I completely understand, but she still got trust issues. I don't blame her. Anyway, um, after that, um, you know, Dr. Dr. Nicole did what she does. She told everybody, you know, a couple of things and then let them know what would be happening this week. So for this week, Everybody's going to end up going on a date. All the guys, all the girls, everybody's going on a date this week. So um, she says that what she wants everybody to do and focus on is fully opening up. Because a part, she tells them that there's parts of them that they allow themselves to shut down and um, not really express by being in these current relationships. And when they go on these dates, she wants them to be authentically themselves, open themselves up to the idea of just being fully them even those parts that they previously shut down because of their current mate great ex great exercise great exercise so ashley and hollywood we see them on their way home they having a very heated argument in the car on the way home and it seems like here's here's what i and i'm not no therapist i'm not no clinical psychologist i'm nowhere near Dr. Um, Nicole LeBeach, who's very good at what she's doing. But as I'm looking at this, I wrote down, it seems like Hollywood hasn't learned to properly process his feelings as an adult. What I feel like ends up happening is, however he feels, if he if Ashley says something that makes him feel really happy, he's going to say something or do something to make her feel really happy. If she says or does something that makes him really angry or upset, she's going to say or do something to her that makes her equally angrily angry and upset and that's not how adults process things that's not healthy um because sometimes a person may say something to you and they're not intending for you to become angry but you very well may become angry and that's fine that's okay emotions are real and emotions are important you can't i always say you can't help how you feel however you can help what you do about how you feel and how you react and how you process how you feel. And so it seems like anytime Ashley says something to Hollywood that angers him or makes him a little bit upset, now he has to do tit for tat. And that's just not going to get anywhere. And then when they were having this whole conversation about um, the whole um, her not being ready to um, get married yet, he just keeps saying, okay, when are you going to get over it? When are you going to get over it? When are you going to get over it? And it's just like, that's not. That's just like a little child who can't understand that there's a process. And it's like the little child when you're riding, you're going on a family trip somewhere and they're screaming, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are, we're good. We will shut up. We will get there when the process is done. And I think it's the same way. Ashley, I think 
Hollywood probably wanted her to instantaneously take him back and after he has strung her along so long and it just doesn't work that way i it, it just seemed that that conversation in the car seemed very toxic to me um he seemed like i wrote down he seemed like he always wants to lash out on her um and make her feel the way she feel he feels anyway yeah but that conversation was not healthy at all so then we see ashley goes on her date with a guy named andre now this seemed like a really good date and there was a real definite connection here. There was chemistry, connection. The vibe was good. They looked cute together. They they were able to, I mean, everything about that date seemed really good. Um, and, you know, I, I don't know. I, I hope that she doesn't choose not to go on a second date with the dude based on how she thinks Hollywood is going to feel. She needs to do it based on how she feels. Now, if she says, I don't want to go on a date on, with him again because of her own feelings or how her reaction, then that's fine. But if she does it because she's scared of how Hollywood's going to feel or react, that's you're not. That's not how this process that you signed up for is supposed to go. We then see Tamika, um, Ashley, and Shay, the girls. They meet up and have drinks and they talk. You know, and it's a way for them to kind of meet up and you know get to know each other a little better. So Tamika starts telling them about you know some of the things going on in her relationship with Vince. This is where we find out also that not only was he doing this whole thing with some shit at the beginning. But the same chick during this two and a half years they've been together, and one at the beginning of this time, it was sometime in the middle, he went on an out-of-town trip and lied and said he was going on some production trip for work when he really went out of town to Chicago to go with that girl and her family and be with the girl and her family. That sounds like some serious stuff. You ain't just go be with her. You want to be with her and her family. That's some serious stuff. So I kind of now it kind of opens it up and makes you say... Yeah, I understand why Tamika feels the way she does. Like, I also like that um, Ashley said in her confessional, like, yeah, Shay, girl, you wrong. I understand why Michael may not want to um, commit to you right now. Because you ghosted him several times, but child, that's another story. Anyway, so um, that was real interesting to find out. So then we see Shay and Michael, they're at home, and they're talking. And they're talking about where they are in their relationship and this, that, and the third. And she wants to get married within the next year or so he's like i don't even know if i'm ready to get married yet while we rushing and she kind of gave him an ultimatum and said well you need to at least meet me in the middle he's like what in the middle you need to at least put a ring on it and get engaged to me and it sounded like an ultimatum to me and people do not deal well with ultimatums that's that that never ends well tamika then um goes on a date with some dude named everson i didn't really care for him he seemed really overbearing I didn't think he was even dressed appropriate for the day. Like he had on it. I didn't like how he was dressed. I didn't like his whole shtick. He was very loud and overbearing. I didn't really even see a connection between them two. It kind of, mm, I feel like even in the confessional, she said, oh, he was cool and everything. And I kind of even feel like that was forced. Her saying that was even forced. Then we see Che went on um, her, on her date, excuse me, not relationship, on her date with this guy named Peyton. Now there seemed to be real connection on this date too. They went bowling. Um, and, you know, they seem to have a real good connection there. Um, the vibe was good. Everything was copacetic. It was, it was a nice day. So I'd really like to see whether or not Jay is going to go on another, on another day with him. So then, um, Dr. Nicole did a private session with, um, Ashley and Hollywood at their house. And, you know, what I took out of this whole, and I know there was a lot more said that we probably didn't see, but what I took away from this is that Ashley is very broken. There are a lot of parts of her that are broken since the um, since he rescinded his engagement or proposal to her. And I don't know if she can or wants to heal with Hollywood. I'm not saying she can't heal at all, but I don't know if she can or wants to do that with Hollywood. I don't, yeah, that's what I took away from that. That 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 conversation with Dr. Nicole, I'm sure there was a whole lot more that was said that we're not privy to. And I'm kind of glad we're not privy to it because that's what a real therapist is going to do. Yeah, turn the cameras off. We need to have a real conversation. And I just love Dr. Nicole on this show because she says the right things on camera, but you could tell she really probably says some good stuff off camera. So then we get uh, Tamika and Vince. They're at home talking about the nature of their relationship and so forth and so on. And then there's a knock at the door and she's surprised and it's his date. And she kept saying, I, I, that better not be your date. That better not be your date. So in my mind, I was like, so did he really not tell you that he was about to go on a date? Or did he tell you that he was going on a date and you just angry because this is the actual date? 
that was my question is why is production still sending the dates to these people to these people house i don't uh, that's just so dangerous it's just so dangerous you should not be sending these dates over there to these people house it's just there's no good that comes out of that none also is this the new thing now list all my straight people out there is that the new thing now? You date somebody for a year or two and now y'all move in together? Because all these couples seem to be staying together. And I don't know if that's the thing. Like, for me, I'm not moving nobody in with me. Especially if we only been dating two years. You ain't moving over here. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I feel like if you ain't already got a ring on your finger, meaning you ain't already engaged, you probably should not be staying together. Now, Hollywood and Ashley, I can kind of see because they've been together nine years, which is a long time. I can see that. But the other two couples, I'm like, y'all live together? it went off from there um tamika was not happy about that um day he was going off with the girl but it's cute that um vincent was going that vince was going out with we'll see how that um goes next week but she seems to be a firecracker and she is not here for him going on a date especially when she already has trust issues with him so um it went off from there we're really getting into some good stuff um I, like i said i love dr nicole and i, I love her just everything about um, what we see of her but i also am i'm curious to know what she says off camera but at the same time i understand there are things that we just cannot know so yeah anyway that was put a ring on in season one episode three i'll see y'all back here next week thank y'all for coming y'all drive safely i'm out